Morning everybody, Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. Didn't get in no big hurry to get down here this morning. It's pretty cold. So I'm gonna put my Carhartt insulated overalls on, grab me a jacket, put me some boots on, and I got a few feeders that's kind of standing in water around them where hogs have rooted around them in the past, and a lot of your corn end up getting slung around in the water. I think I'm going to ride around and we'll grab me a strap and kind of drag some of them to dry ground this morning and see what all we can get into. What is a pretty day today. Still wet and nasty, but that's part of this time of year, but it is pretty. The one thing I do like about these trough style feeders, how it's got a trough all the way around, spins the corn in the trough, you can get water standing around it but the corn don't get in the water just whatever's around it kind of stands i may move that in later but you really don't have to since you got that trough all the way around joker here like it's on an island right there we're gonna drag it on up here on some dry ground i don't even believe it's got any corn in it i don't think i put none in there last time we fixing to though I believe it'd be more fun to use the winch, wouldn't it? I believe it would. Well, we can see what we're doing. I don't know, let's try this strap. I brought some straps. Let's see what we can do. Try not to get wet. Uh, I may need to hook the winch to it so I don't get wet. Let's see what we can do. All right, so here's what I decided to do. I put the strap around it and I'm gonna hook the winch to the strap. Well, I can watch it and make sure I don't turn it over. Get some use out of this winch. Let's see what we can do. Get her out of there. Don't hang up right there, ain't it? Get this corner up on there. I believe we can get it out. Oop, dropped the remote. Dang, can't hold on to it. See if we can drive backwards a little bit with it up on some dry ground. Oh yeah, perfect. Get rid of the hog. This won't happen. We working on them. right to set the camera right. This one here is over here by the, where the panel trap was. It's in a hole. But I believe we can get it out. We're going to take our time.
pretty good hole around this and I hadn't been any hogs around it in a while that's where the trap was oh yeah in business now Here, like a small island. So, here still got some corn in it, so I'm going to be careful with this. Let me get y'all situated here. My remote will cut on. There it goes. Usually end up wet. Try not to. I can't remember how much corn's in this one, but I know it's got some. This one may be, whoa, a little harder to deal with. If I can get it to jump up on dry ground, we'll be all right without turning over. Whoa, that about turned over, didn't it? All right, we got a whoop now. I think we do. Alright y'all, me and PJ's cheating. We're at the bakery late. Almost really lunch for us. Is that a sausage ball so I got a sausage biscuit? No ma'am. You wait till I give you some. Get down. Get down. Get down. There you go. I'm gonna give you a little more. You gotta act right. This thing here gonna got be no good. Clothes on. Alright, made it back to Alabama, me and Cody's finna go do a look around, put a little feed out. Let him ride his four-wheeler a little while, just kind of fiddle around. Still pretty cool today. Alright, I got Cody behind me on four-wheeler. I'm just thinking about something. The difference between 46 years old and 11 years old. And I've been down here as long as it, I was down here at that age. Every time you come to a mud hole, now I go around it most of the time. Cody busts it wide open right in the middle. <laughs> That's the difference. I know the more you ride through it, the muddier you get, uh, the bigger the hole gets. But at that age, you got to run them right in the middle. So I don't blame him. I don't say nothing about it. got to enjoy it. let him mud ride a lot of spots because I don't want to tear the place up but you got to have a couple of spots like this spot right here it stays wet about year round so we ain't hurt nothing this is the point of our little mud riding hole it's gonna slow down and put it forward drive make sure he gets my four-wheeler off of it. one thing about his four-wheeler it makes a mess this big old tires it got I let him bring it down here some, but not all the time. Got 
Cody a new pair of lacrosse burleys the other day. Them's the best boots I believe they are. I just, we ain't crazy about the muck boots. We like them the burleys though, lacrosse. What you doing, girl? Hmm? What you doing? Cody been wanting to ride and I ain't rode, but we're gonna have to for long. Yeah. Move, girl. Hard here comes Fox. Hey, right, y'all. Hadn't had just a ton going on today. And I'm finna have to go in. I got some stuff I got to do with the family. Oh, anything. Anyway, one thing I wanted to address. It seems like one of the biggest comments I get here lately is about a winch, either on the Ranger or on the hog trailer. And I'm not gonna get a winch. Oh, uh, I'm not. I'm not that lazy, nor is that hurting my back. But one of the biggest reasons, it seems like everybody's always looking for an easy way out, and that's not me. And But anyway, uh, y'all know that. But besides the point, a lot of people may do that. I don't want a winch to load my deer. That's why I got the little trailer. Uh, that's, that's simple enough for me. But as many, y'all think about 300 hogs and in the mud and slop. Uh, I, I enjoy, to a point, this hog trapping, but it's not something that I don't. The only reason I'm doing it is because it's almost a necessity so they'll quit tearing all the ground up, just overrun with them. Uh, but it's not something that I, I look forward really to doing uh, because it gets old. Uh, it's been a really fun winter being able to hunt as much as we have and not really deal with the hogs that much. I'm just going to keep trapping and keep them, keep them knocked back. But uh, the biggest reason I'm not going to put a winch on, on the trailer or the ranger is for the hog. Number one is it would take forever to unwind it, wind it back up and all that stuff. Number two, that old gumbo nasty mud would I, I just I don't believe it'd last and then you got to if I have one on the trailer I'd have to have a battery and that sucker'd be covered with mud because it's behind the ranger slinging mud everywhere and if I had it on the ranger I just I just it's just not something something I want to do I see people doing it and yeah Tim's got him one on there and I don't blame him if that's what he wants to do to load deer or whatever it's just not something I'm going to do. So everybody can keep commenting about a winch or boat winch or all that. You know, y'all may do that also, but uh, I'm not going to do it. Not being smart or anything, but I am. I just wanted to address why I'm not doing it. I just don't see the point in it. The best thing I've ever got, Tim came up with that, was that hay hook. That extra long hay hook, and you just hook it in them. And there's been a few that I wondered if I was going to get on there or not, but I like the challenge of it. It's not that bad. I would really be thinking about a winch probably if it wasn't for that hay hook, but man, that hay hook, you can just hook them, never touch them, slide them up on there and go. And you can do that before you even unwind the winch. But anyway, that's my biggest reason for not fooling with a winch. I just don't need something else to tear up. I got enough that tears up as it is. But anyway, I got to go spend some time with the family. Finna call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.